Shot creating playmaker is the best overall uh, archetype player build that you want to yeah. make your uh, your particular point guard. And a lot of people kept telling me that it's not the best. Look at the badges. Look at all of this stuff that you can't get. But look at all of these badges that come with it, man. Compared to the, all the other, you know, archetypes. I mean, here go the key badges. You get Diamond, Pick and Roll Maestro, Flashy Pass, a Lob City Pass, a One Man Fast Break. As a point guard, One Man Fast Break is probably the best badge that you can have because you know you're going to get them rebounds. If you if you make like a tall uh, point guard, like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, something like that, six, even 6'3", six, because I got a 6'3 point guard, Russ is 6'3", your secondary badge is Ankle Breaker, Acrobat, Quick Reflexes. That's going to come in handy with your uh, steals as well as with your, uh, I guess, reception of the pass. Relentless finisher, free throw ace, catch and shoot, tireless score, mid-range dead out, up and under specialist, deadly, teardropper deadly, corner special deadly, corner specialist, charge card, difficult shots, lob city finisher, break starter, personality badges, uh, I mean, they help here and there. Clutch performer, four quarter championship DNA, four quarters in the finals, as well as the playoffs. Playoffs atmosphere, as well as versus the uh, season atmosphere, is going to be a lot different. And that's facts, man. Something you got to deal with. So, dunks pretty much won't be dunking if you're a shot creating playmaker because your main focus is going to be shot creating as well as playmaking. You really don't need uh, posterizing dunks overall archetype or uh, player build for point guard starting out i mean you can always recreate or create another uh, point guard and then passing maxed out costs twenty one thousand. so 45 if you want to max it out before the game releases it'll be forty five thousand. so you'll you'll hit the ground running and your vert it'll be maxed out at a 69 until you can break free from that cap to hit that white bar that's closest to the left there so guys shot creating playmaker you can't go wrong with it primary skill number one passing ball handling second skill is shot creating that three-point shot is going to take a lot of grinding what possibly not a lot but look at this i mean where is it relentless finisher catch and shoot that's going to help a lot tireless score mid-range dead eye is going to bump that uh that overall a little bit up Let, let's see what it was at 74 76 73 so if you could max that badge out to that white line it works perfectly so a lot of people is hitting me up saying this is not the best build i mean that's your opinion my opinion is different from yours but as a point guard you want to be a playmaker you want to be a shot creator and you want to have handles so that primary skill says passing and ball handling so you get both of those you don't just get passing you don't just get ball, ball handling you get possibly three skill areas 